strawberry ice cream. I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and I'm from Temecula, California. I've been writing songs since I was so young. Like, literally, my parents have VHS tapes of me making up songs about like the craziest things. Um, there's this video of me at like, like, like five or six years old, and I'm talking about getting lost in the grocery store and like all of this stuff. So I've been writing forever. But the first song I remember writing on the piano was this song called Superman. And the lyrics were like, I don't need no Superman to come and save me, to come and teach me lessons, because I'm a human being and I can clean up my own messes. So it was like probably nine years old at the time. It was very empowered. <laughs> the first like truly instrument that I had was this like terrible, awful little pink guitar that was like so out of tune. And the only thing that I ever was able to play on it was the beginning of the climb because it's legitimately one note. It goes dun 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 dun. I can almost see it, and I just literally would play that one note over and over again and sing the climb. Um, but I had like my first proper piano lesson when I was probably like nine years old, and I hated it, and I would cry before every lesson. But in hindsight, I'm very glad that I was forced to be in piano lessons because I use those skills that I was taught um, like every day, and playing piano is one of my favorite things to do now. So um, yeah, grateful, gr grateful that my parents forced me to do that. <laughs> just your time. I was such a good two-shoes straight-A student growing up. Um, I loved history and writing. I remember like <laughs> in sixth grade uh, in my history class I got like a 106% in my history class because I was so obsessed with it and my teacher loved me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's funny like I've always really loved music ever since I can remember. It's like funny how when you're a little kid you kind of show your interests so soon. Got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. As a songwriter, every song sort of starts differently. Sometimes I'll be having a conversation and you know somebody will say something interesting that'll spark an idea. Um, sometimes I'll be like reading poetry and get really inspired and stuff like that. But as I get older, um, I find that songwriting um, is more of a discipline. At least I try to make it that way. And um, I really think that uh, sort of more or less forcing yourself to write a song sometimes is really beneficial. I think you can't rely on those like lightning bolts ideas um, to strike you all the time. And, and actually, when you like get used to like actually like getting in the craft and the skill of songwriting, when you do have those lightning bolt moments, the song becomes better too. So making it um, a discipline has been really helpful for me. And I know we weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way. My album is called Sour. Um, I sort of wrote it about this like period of time where I felt like everything that I had that was like really awesome and, and good in my life went really sour. Like I was super insecure and going through this awful heartbreak and stuff like that. Um, so that's why it's called Sour. Also it has my initials in it, OR, which I think is a fun added perk. But um, it's super, super versatile. There's like a ton of influences in there, um, but I really tried to work hard to kind of carve out my own sound in my own lane. I just hope that people sort of see bits of themselves on my songwriting hopefully or you know sort of become in, engrossed in, in the stories that I'm telling because those are my favorite records to listen to so yeah that's the dream you know I still love you, it sounds really cheesy but I just feel really grateful and really happy um, I've been working so hard on making music for as long as I can remember and it's really cool to have people resonate with what I have to say and um, I'm just yeah I'm just so excited to get to write songs for like the rest of my life and it's really cool that people want to listen. My biggest advice to an aspiring songwriter I think is that it is so important to make art with absolutely no intention of it ever being consumed. Um, that's just the best thing I think you can do as an artist and just as a person, just do it for the love of it. Um, and uh, yeah, just work your little butt off and listen to artists that you like and um, be inspired by people and you know, be inspired by your life experiences, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, you 
start forever now I drive alone past your street.